Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the media captured failed event error 0xA00F0271 when you're using camera in your Windows machine. Now to fix this issue, there are a couple of steps which you could try. The first step is to go ahead and update or roll back your camera driver. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on device manager. Once you have the device manager open, you will have to go ahead and look for cameras. Under, under cameras, you will see an option which says integrated webcam do a right click on integrated webcam and then click on properties under properties you may go ahead and click on driver and then click on update driver under this choose the option which says browse my computer for drivers and then choose the option which says let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then choose the option which says usb video device and then click on next and then click on close with this you should be able to install the drivers which are compatible to your computer once this is done you may close this window close the other window and then you may try to restart your computer and check if you are able to launch camera on your computer in case if you are able to launch camera and record uh, anything on the camera well and good you don't have to try the next step the next step what i would suggest you to do is to reset your camera app settings to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you have the settings open you will have to go ahead and click on apps under apps you will have to go ahead and click on installed apps on the right hand side once you have this list you would see the camera listed under this section it would be in alphabetical order so once click on the three dotted lines under camera and then click on advanced advanced option under advanced option click on terminate and then choose the option which says repair this will take about a minute or two to complete the repair once the repair is complete then choose the other option which says reset and when you click on reset keep in mind that it will permanently delete on the device including your preferences and sign in details so it will not delete the photos or video it will only delete the preferences or the sign in details so you might be prompted to sign in to your microsoft account when you try to launch the camera so click on reset this will take about a minute or two once this is completed you may close this window restart your computer and then check if you are able to launch the camera or record the video in the camera in case if able to launch the camera and record the video or click photos well and good you don't have to try the next step the next step what i would suggest you to do is to allow apps to our camera to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button then click on settings once you're on the settings page you will have to go ahead and click on privacy and security and then under the privacy and security you will have to go ahead and locate for camera so click on the camera and then make sure the camera access has been set to on and also make sure let apps access your camera under the camera make sure it has been enabled once this is done you may try to launch the camera and check if you are able to capture video or take photos on your computer if this works well and good you don't have to try the next step now in spite of trying all this step and if you are still facing a problem the last step what i would suggest you to do is to or update your windows to the latest version to do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page click on windows update under windows update click on the advanced option and then click on optional updates under optional updates check if there are any updates available for your camera in case now these update optional updates are for your hardware component so in case if there are any updates available go ahead and install those updates at the same time go back to the updates by clicking on the windows update and choose the option which says check for the updates in case if there are any updates available for your windows go ahead and install those updates restart your computer and then check if you are able to capture video or take a photograph in your camera i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day